Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, today's video, we're gonna be talking about all things salicylic acid. We've done previously covered glycolic acid, mandelic acid, azelaic acid, and lactic acid as part of our acids in skincare series. And today, we do the one that I probably should have started with because it is my go-to perfect Effect, acid for my skin type, salicylic. In this video, we're going to talk about the pros of using it, the cons of using it, and ultimately the best five products available at the drugstore at drugstore prices, which you could combine into your skincare routine if you decide that salicylic acid is right for you. So don't want this to be a super long video, so let's jump straight in and talk about salicylic acid. Now, unlike um, glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, it's slightly different. It's not an alpha hydroxy acid, it's beta hydroxy acid. What that means amongst other things is that it's oil soluble. So instead of just sitting on the skin and doing a superficial ex exfoliation, um, salicylic acid goes into the pores. It works its magic and it draws out the oil and with it the impurities, the oxidized particles which create blackheads that we all hate and helps to regulate sebum levels in the skin, but also to exfoliate deeper to prevent things like breakouts, clogged pores, the whiteheads, the pustules, all the things that anybody who has oily skin like myself knows and hates hates. It's a miracle ingredient if it's used right by the right people. So let's start. Who could benefit from a salicylic acid? Well, I think it's a product which is best used on um, oily or oily combination skin. I think anybody else, and this is just going to remove the oils from the skin and dry you out further. So if you're dry, sensitive or dry combination, I don't think this is going to be the product for you. For everybody else, it's going to be a gorgeous addition to your skincare routine. Now, I like I usually say to people, salicylic acid is fantastic at drawing out the oil, but you do still need another exfoliator in your skincare routine. A glycolic acid is usually the go-to because that's going to then take away the dead skin cells and break those bonds to reveal that gorgeous, luminous skin sitting above that dead skin cells that sit on the surface of the skin. So it's not an acid which I would necessarily use on my own, but it combines beautifully with other acids. In terms of what the pros are, well, to just start, there are so much choice, so, so much choice of salicylic acid. There's loads of cruelty-free options, there's loads of drugstore options, there's loads of affordable options, there's different tonics, there's masks, there's serums, there's everything you could want. So it's a really versatile product with loads of choice. It's super affordable. Salicylic acid doesn't need to cost more than £10, $15. You can get a really good product at the drugstore at really reasonable prices. I love that. Third, it is the best ingredient when it comes to de-clogging pores. If people are worried about clogged pores, the pore size, the fact that you just step out the door and you become an oil slick instantly, this is a product that you need in your life. It's fantastic and I'll teach you how to use it later on in this video. The fourth thing is there's so many different variations of it, which just means you can find the right one to fit into your skincare routine. You don't need to add steps. You can find one that combines with something else. It's just a super versatile, gorgeous, gorgeous product. Now, in terms of the cons, it by its nature, it draws the oil out of the skin, so it's quite drying. So if you have dry skin, this is not going to be the product for you. Another con is there is a lot of bad, bad product. I'm looking at you, Clearasil. I'm looking at you, Clean and Clear. All that teen market crap. Even if you are a teen, that is not going to work for you. You need to look for a single ingredient salicylic acid. Go to the ordinary, go to, well, wait till the I get to the end of this video where I go through my recommendations. All of them are single ingredient focusing on the salicylic acid, not like this Clearasil anti-spot pads, which just destroy your skin barrier, strip your skin of all its goodness and are chronic and horrible. You can get the benefits of salicylic acid without all the nasty added to it. And hopefully you'll follow my recommendations and you'll be able to deliver just that. So let's get straight into it with what I think are the best salicylic acid products out there. First and foremost, and probably my absolute favorite, is this. This is the Salicylic Mask by The Ordinary. I love this product. Seven pounds here in the UK, it's around the $10 point, and it went viral, so it's been sold out for months. It's finally come back in, so if you're interested, hop on over to the website now and order this, because it won't be around for long. It is a beautiful mask. It combines salicylic acid with hydration, hydrating humectants, which means it's gonna offset some of that stripping that you can get with it. You can apply it all over to the face for 20 minutes and wash it off, or you can actually leave it on longer if you want that really deep pore exfoliation. I love this product. It's unscented. There's no colorant in there. It's 2%. Often, I always say, start low, work your way up. Salicylic acid comes in two concentrations traditionally, 1% and 2%. 
going at 2%. The 1% isn't going to deliver the results you want and it'll take so long to see those results, it's not worth it. I think salicylic acid is one of those few ingredients where I'd say go strong straight off because the side effects are so small and manageable, I really don't think there's any risk to going in at that 2%. This is a 2% salicylic acid mask. I love, love, love this product. Cruelty free, fragrance free, colorant free, moisturizing, and really will declog your pores. If you use this religiously three times a week, don't have to do it every single day, three times a week for two months, you'll see about a 50% reduction in the clogged nature of your pores. Fewer blackheads, fewer clogged pores, fewer breakouts, it is that good. If you have an active breakout at the moment, buy this. You need this in your life. It's worked wonders, wonders for my skin. I love it. Um, for those of you that don't want a mask, you want a daily treatment, um, I would recommend this. This is the Boots Ingredients Salicylic Acid. This is really new. They sent this to me about two weeks ago amongst some other products. This is their ingredients line. It is just salicylic acid in a base. Gorgeous. There's no colorant, there's no fragrance. It's cruelty free and it's vegan. Fantastic all around. This is five pounds and it is gorgeous. Let me just show you on skin there. It literally goes on like a watery serum, sinks straight into the skin. Look, gone. So you can put this on after you've um, toned, pop this on straight into the skin and then get on with the rest of your serum steps. I love, love, love this product. I think it's available internationally, but it's certainly available in boot stores here in the UK. Five pounds. You can't get a better one than that. Um, what? Oh, the ordinary. If you don't want the mask and you don't want that watery, what happens if you want something to get a bit less watery and more gel-like? So do you like pinpoint um, exfoliation because salicylic acid is really great at drying out zits. If you've got an active zit, pop some salicylic acid. Don't ever let me hear you putting toothpaste on it. There's too many nasties in there. It's not going to help. Salicylic acid dabbed onto the spot. Well, I've got a zit here. I'm treating it at the moment. This perfect for that. This is the ordinary 2% salicylic. Again, it's been sold out for a while, but you can get it now. I did just check before I jumped in and did this video. So head over and buy it if you want. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous formulation and it's gel-like so you can pinpoint without it going to all the skin around it. I think sometimes salicylic acid doesn't do well with non-spot prone skin, if that makes sense. So you really want to target it sometimes on your areas of breakouts. This will allow you to do that perfectly. I love that product. Um, similarly, and in the same vein as that, this is the Nip and Fab Purify Salicylic Acid Extreme 2% Concentration. Put that on. The reason this is in there, let me actually get some, is this is the thickest salicylic acid on the market. You see that? It literally goes on and allows you to do that beautiful pinpoint work that you need to do, especially if you've got zits. This isn't for everybody because it is fragranced and it does have colorant in which I know are two big no-nos in skincare. However, if you don't like the smell of salicylic acid, this is masks it beautifully. Again, if you're not sensitive to fragrance and colorant, you can actually use this. Obviously, if you are, don't. But it does mask the fragrance if you don't like that chemically fragrance that salicylic acid comes with. It is beautiful. It's got humectants in, so it's hydrating. It's got aloe in, so it's calming. And it allows you to do that really precise, targeted exfoliation, which I absolutely love. 10 out of 10. I love this product. I just wish you didn't have the fragrance and colorant in. Finally, and a very honorable mention, as I said earlier in the video, even though you're using salicylic acid to cleanse the pores, to remove the dirt and the debris, you still want to use a glycolic acid to get rid of the top layers of skin. Why not combine them? This is a gorgeous product. This is the Peeling Solution by The Ordinary. It's an AHA 30% BHA salicylic acid 2%. So you've got 2% with a 30% um, glycolic acid. This is super strength, but we'll allow you to use it once a week. So if you don't want to add a salicylic acid in every single day into your routine, just do it once a week with this. This product is gorgeous. You need to use it wisely. It's a 20 minute mask. And once the 20 minutes is done, wipe it off. You don't want to leave it on longer. I don't want you to see you using it every two days like some people do. It's once a week treatment. This is gorgeous. Again, it's got current in, which isn't for everybody. But other than that, beautiful, beautiful product. And I fully recommend it. It's, I think, £8 here in the UK. So it's around the $10 point. All of these are around the $10 point, And it's gorgeous. I think what this has demonstrated is the go-to, if you want a salicylic, is The Ordinary. There is an honourable mention to the Inkillis, which do a great salicylic acid. Paula's Choice do a beautiful salicylic acid toner, if you want a salicylic acid toner. Um, and that's really a liquid form that you wipe on and wipe off with a cotton pad. People rave about that. I haven't personally tried it, which is why it's not in my favourites, but it is 
gorgeous, 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 and I fully recommend it. So guys, that's it. The ins, the outs, the pros, the cons, the best, the worst of salicylic acid. Do you use it in your skincare routine? Leave me a comment below. Are you going to use it? What are your thoughts? Sound off in the comments below. Hopefully you give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're enjoying the sun, because here in the UK, it is gorgeous. So I'm sending all the sunshine and all the love to wherever you are in the world. Take care, guys. Bye.